everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful pop-up box card. Slightly different size to what I usually do. It all folds flat and it will fit into a envelope and then on the back you have your space there to be able to write your message. Just look at all that detail. It's so pretty. I really enjoyed putting this one together. So let me show you how I made it. So I made that card a couple of weeks ago during a Facebook Live and it was using the Papercraft Society Box 15. Now you don't need the kit to be able to make this style card, I do have a full playlist of box cards, pop-up box cards. So if you would like to have a little look, this will maybe give you some inspiration on colours to use and just maybe a different kind of arrangement that you want to do with it, but you can use those styles there. And if you do have this kit then great. So this is actually, the, the kit makes these pop-up box cards. And there's some lovely inspiration in the booklet, but I've kind of taken a little bit from a few of them and then put my little twist on it as well. So I've already gone ahead and cut everything and I'll just show you inside of the kit. So these are the extra pieces that I've cut. So inside here you get all your beautiful papers. There's so much more. I'm going to do a project using these bits next, I think. But this is the die set. So I've die cut the main one here and you want to do that just the once. Okay, so I've die cut it there. You then get this die and this one and I use the papers that come in the kit and I've just popped them on just to speed up the video. So I've already decorated the front. So one of that one there and then I'm also going to be using this die here to add a pretty decoration around the bottom here and on the two inside pieces and then this one here along with this one will create this pretty effect along the top. Okay, so they're the other ones I'm using. The flowers, I've already stamped all of them and then die cut them so you can see the stamped detail on the front there. And that's obviously then been cut and then the sprigs even down to the little butterfly using that beautiful iridescent cardstock, sorry, bumblebee, not butterfly. It's just there, so I've done a couple of those as well. But you do have a butterfly as well. So that's the dies that I've used and then you can see the stamp set there which is beautiful which will coordinate with your your dies there as well but you get lots of other sprigs and some lovely sentiments. Mine just says happy, I'm sending these to my friends, that's it, it's just a nice happy card and then I'll write a nice message on the back. The extra additions that I need for this one are these two pieces here which are going to go inside the card, let's get all this out of the way. So I've just die cut two pieces that are six by one and three quarters and along the six inch side I've scored at half an inch and five and a half. So that's the two there. You see that one we've already die cut and then this is for the back and this piece is five by seven. For my mat and layer for my message that's a piece of four and three quarters by four and three quarters and then four and a half by four and a half. So just a square there and I've already gone ahead and stamped that sentiment. So that is all of the pieces you need and that's the scoring all done. First of all, I wanna do some die cutting and I'm gonna do these pieces here for the inside and I'm just gonna sit the die along the middle there and you'll see that it just meets the score lines at either end. Now you're going to trim a little bit into it as well but you just want it so that the die just runs along the top and then it will cut that lovely design. So I'm going to do that on both of those pieces. Now while I've got my die machine out I'm also going to die cut the decorative edge on this other piece. So it's just using that large piece of 5x7. I'm just sitting the die along the top and then I'm also going to cut the pattern paper to layer on top. now you'll see that's cut. If it doesn't quite, like mine there, it's not quite gone to the, the very edge, I'm just going to kind of just continue it so that you get a nice finish there. But this piece of pattern paper is four and three quarters by, it's just over six and a half and again I'm just going to lay that so it kind of sits evenly so you've just got kind of the, the same amount overhanging each side because obviously it's a little bit shorter now. So along the top and just run that one through. So first of all I want to stick my pattern piece over this one here and you'll just give yourself a little white border. So I'm happy with that. With this one here while that's just drying I want to remove the side. You can keep these on but I removed these completely for this particular style. 
So just follow the score lines. And everything I'm doing here, you can do on those other box style cards that I have on that playlist. Okay, so that's that done. Now with this piece here, this is the piece that folds over and you'll see I've got that lovely trim again. So I'm going to die cut that trim. Actually, I'm going to flip it over because this is going to fold this way. So I will want that to be like so. So I'm going to turn the whole thing over and I'm just going to, again, bring it right up to the edge of the cardstock. And I'm just going to lay that one down like so. So I'll run that one through. And then with this one here, we've got that piece here. And that is going to go inside like so. Again, with just a nice little border and it's going to give us those little holes. So I'm just going to lay that down on there and get that one run through as well. So that's that all done and then with these pieces here I'm just going to snip along the side until it joins up with the bottom and again on that side there. And you'll see now you get that lovely trim. It's really really pretty. And then I'm just going to fold and burnish the sides. So this is now all ready for us to attach inside. So first of all, just want to make sure, yeah, I did do that correct. So I'm going to grab my glue here and I'm going to pop some glue just on that tiny little tab here. Like so, and then I'm just going to attach it to the side right down in that bottom corner. Okay, so you can see I've just folded it under there. Now before we stick this side down, I always like to then add these pieces on to my box cards. So again, I'm just going to pop my glue just on that tab. And then I'm going to line up the edge of the cardstock here with the, that tab, that corner of that tab. And just lie it down flat. I'll hold it up again so you can see in a second. So I've stuck it in the back there so that's the end of it and it lines up with the crease or the fold of that tab so when it folds over you can see it's kind of coming away from the back there so we've got room to be able to pop all of our little pop-up pieces and then again with this one add the glue make sure I get the right end so and then I'm going to line up the edge of that to that one there And if you just lay it all down flat, you can make sure it's obviously all going to line up, be nice and straight. You can see the tops of the pattern there. And again, when those all fold in, we've got that. So now what you need to do is fold them back that way. And you'll see when they lay down flat, they sit next to each other. So now I'm going to add the glue to the tops of these pieces. Make sure your glue doesn't you know, go over to the other one. I'm just going to spread that out with my finger so I don't get any glue going anywhere I don't want it. And then I'm going to lay the whole thing flat with the tab sticking out the edge. You can stick the tab down at the same time as well, but I'll break it down this time. So, and now you'll see you've got all of that in there. And then all that's left to do is add your glue on the tab, fold the tab under and lay the card flat. And this is a good way of doing it because it also ensures that it's all going to fold flat into your envelope. But I think it's much easier doing it this way than trying to get your hands inside and sticking each one down separately. And this is how I've done most of my pop-up box cards on that playlist. So just spend a minute burnishing everything again so it's all nice and flat. And now when that pops up, you have your card. So I will add my sentiment at the very end. So now I'm going to start sticking down all of these pieces. So the acetate all comes in the kit and I just done strips that what the, all the strips were the same. I think they're about half an inch, something like that. Some of the smaller ones, you can see the acetate strips much thinner. You just catch the light there. And I'm going to trim a lot of these, but you just want to make sure that they all fit within 
the area there. Now I'm going to stick down the happy first because like I did during the live that way I, I'll know my flowers, you know where to place the flowers so they don't cover the word but they're going to lay down be like that and then I know I can start popping these in. So you can see the acetate is coming out the bottom there so I can trim all of that but just kind of place them similar to the one that I've already done because I do like that one. That one there. Something like that anyway. And they all go on different levels as well so again pop some on the front there. But I always like to kind of roughly position things and then I can start feeding in all the other bits and pieces. To stick them on, if you're not using acetate, if you were just using cardstock, I would just then pop a bit of glue and stick them onto you know whatever ones you want to. With the acetate, I'm going to use some red tape and then just get them all positioned. But what I like to do is kind of hold it in place, and you can kind of pinch it inside there with my finger, and then kind of put your finger where the excess is, trim that away and then you know you just need to pop your tape at the bottom there. You can stick that all in. So I'm going to spend a few minutes now putting this all together. Absolutely stunning, certainly a display piece. I think it'd be great for Easter cards, Mother's Day cards, and for me just a nice happy card just to send someone to put a smile on their face. And you'll see on the back there I stuck the sentiment section and then it just folds flat. I do have the envelope DIY envelope tutorial, I'll link that up here if you want to make an envelope for this. So thank you for watching today, as always I'll link everything that I've used in the description box below and I'll be back again very soon with more fun tutorials. Thanks for watching, bye!